Well, you know, when we do think of the word burlesque, we very often think of striptease dances. That's what we sort of think of. But, you know, actually, Aristophanes here, five centuries before Christ, was known as the father of burlesque. Because, see, he was a playwright and a poet, and he realized if you're an urgent in the street and you're poverty-stricken and you have absolutely nothing, there is nothing funny to you. But if a big coach pulls up with some very well coiffed people and they step out and they fall in a mud hole, that's funny to that person way out there uh, who has nothing. So you see, that is the core of comedy, is exaggerating something, making it utterly, totally ridiculous. Now I know you've all heard of uh, Josephine Baker, uh, the little black girl and went from St. Louis, went to uh, Paris and became extremely famous. Uh, why are we way out here in the middle of the desert? Well, Jenny Lee, who started the museum, uh, this is hers, uh, she had it in San Pedro, she had a bar, and uh, many, um, oh, I don't know, um, uh, other things she had to do, a column in a newspaper, but she became ill with breast cancer and she died over in the house. So these were goat sheds when I came here. I only did one room at a time just eight years ago. And it was a defunct goat farm. By the way, did you see the little lambkins up there as you came? Yes, yeah. we did. Oh, I love so those cute. little lambkins. I, oh, I just, I want to just hug them. They just copper. <laughs> anyway, Lily St. Cyr. Now, you girls are too young to have ever uh, seen her, but I'm sure you've heard about her. She's absolutely fabulous. Everything she did was totally elegant and gorgeous. She imitated Mata Hari. Mata Hari was executed by the French firing squad. Now, of course, uh, Matahari um, uh, is sort of more or less supposed to be our enemy, but to me, uh, she's an exotic dancer and she belongs in the museum. And so two young journalists came through here just the other day, they were, no, a couple weeks ago, I'm sorry, from uh, the Netherlands, and they were so impressed that I had, uh, I don't know if I can find it now, dog. well, anyway, I'll show up. He's got the camera going, I'm sorry I got into this right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, well, let's forget it. Uh, but they gave me a whole full page in the Netherlands paper um, when they went back. Yes, I have it. It was a huge, well, one whole page of just me in the museum because I had Matahari on there. <laughs> okay, so anyway, those are a lot of the older time ones that started. And, you know, we did have vaudeville, and oh boy, vaudeville was just wonderful. And then along came this thing called the radio. <gasps> Well, when radio came in, vaudeville went out. But a lot of these performers that weren't so fortunate enough to play radio, because see, you could become famous overnight, you know, and keep the money in your pocket. You didn't have to travel. Um, now, uh, I was the Marilyn Monroe of Burlesque. <laughs> yes, I'm the same age as Marilyn, too. <laughs> And if you couldn't ever really meet or see the real Marilyn, you could have come to the Burles Theater and see me. Ooh, I might have even shown you a little more than Marilyn, too. <laughs> and she tried to sue me, too. And you'll find all Can about I take a that. Picture? Yeah, sure. Oh, look at my yeah, hand. Right picture. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now, um, I have a whole, um, um, uh, I have a, a whole a chorus line from the 20s, you see, and that gown is from the 30s. Uh, and, uh, you see, there was not such a thing as a strip tease uh, early because it wasn't thought of to take your clothes off in front of an audience. It, it didn't make sense. Could you imagine a girl knocking on a boss's door and bursting in and saying, <laughs> Oh, Mr. Niedemeyer! I just came up with a wonderful idea for a new act. I'm going to put on all of my clothes, go out on the stage, and take them all off again. He would say, oh, there's the door. Where do we get these people from? <laughs> you see, the striptease was a pure accident. Uh, in the burlesque shows, they did comics and scenes and dancers and, and all sorts of entertaining acts, but no striptease. Uh, so they say, and a lot of juggling acts, oh boy, a lot of jugglers and trampoline acts. 
So they said, now between the trampoline and the juggling acts, what you're going to do is you're going to do a beautiful parade number with a big, beautiful hat, and you're going to go off the stage into the wings. And they were always trained to look over the top of the heads of the people. So one day this girl, she was doing her big act, looking over the top of the heads of the people in a beautiful gown. And she got off the stage, and then she couldn't get out of the gown. Because she was supposed to come back and do her little finale. You take your gown off in the wing. So now the, the backstage manager said, Girlie, get back on out there. Your music's been playing. So she ran back out, but her whole persona changed. She wasn't like this over the tops of the head. She was looking at the audience, and she was laughing, and she was kidding, and she was teasing, and she was toying with the audience, and talking with them, and trying to, and they knew that she, she would never, they never took the dress off on the stage. So she wiggled and wiggled, and she stood in the middle of the stage and shimmied, and the beautiful beaded gown just slid right off. Well, when she removed that gown in front of the audience, a shock just went through the audience like a bolt of lightning. They thought the building was going to come down. They <laughs> applauded and applauded and applauded. <laughs> And, uh, and the owner ran out and says, what happened? Backstage manager said, I'll tell you what happened. Hinda Wassa took her dress off right out there in the middle of the stage. He said, that's what happened? Call a rehearsal tonight after the show. <laughs> and the strip tease was born in Chicago. So um, he would, the owners ran out and they said, oh my goodness, we really got something here. Girls, when you're being so gorgeous in your beautiful gown, you might look at the audience and smile. They're paying our salary, you know. You might sort of tug at your glove, uh, go like this with your strap, you know, fiddle with your gown. So uh, it, it built up, and of course you know us Americans, once we get onto something, we get the last drop of juice out of that lemon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, a man called me about eight uh, days ago and wanted to know if I'd ever heard the name Hindawasa before. And I said, yes, I mention her name every day. And he said, well, I'm Hindawasa's kid brother. I'm 77 years old, and uh, my four older sisters were all in burlesque. And uh, he said, if it hadn't have been for them, we wouldn't have had any food on the table or shoes on our feet. And he mailed me, I didn't have a picture of Hindawasa, but that's the girl right there that started the striptease. Uh, so, in other words, uh, the striptease started now in Paris and in France. The, uh, the girls were always nude with little flowers here and there. But when the Americans came up with the striptease, the French girls had to run out, buy clothes, put them on, take them off. <laughs> they were nude in the first place. But at any rate, that's <laughs> yeah, Well, you see, when a phenomenon hits, right. uh, it doesn't matter what country or where, it sort of circles the globe. And it was the idea to take something off very, very slowly and, and be very, very coy about it. Now, if you were to do that today, you know, it's, the guys, hey, come on, you know, hey, you know because see, yeah. everything has been too exposed for too long that if you're going to go, oh, I'm going to take my glove off like it's so exciting, you know, they're going to say, hey, where's this broad bin, you know? <laughs> so the, the, the strip tease actually is something of its own. The exotic and the erotic dancing is something of their own. Now, of course, uh, we did have... <laughs> the Loretta Young of Burlesque, the First Lady of Burlesque, the Anita Eckberg of Burlesque, the Sophia Loren of Burlesque, Debbie Reynolds of Burlesque, this old girl was in the R Gang comedy. Now, <clears throat> really? Yeah, once you've been a little child. <clears throat> Which one was she? Uh, she was Shirley <laughs> Jean. Uh, that, that's her little baby face here, too. Um, yeah, well, I haven't got a brain because I just can't do everything. This is so Oh, short. my goodness. And then she wound up being. Oh, I'm sorry, they've got to be okay. in a frame one these days, but it seems like I run out of money very often. <laughs>